Welcome back, friends, to Max Q Barbecue Fire Management Series, Episode 4. Today's cook is going to be a turkey. And for today's cook, we'll be cooking at a higher temperature than we normally cook at for our low and slow barbecue. We'll be cooking at 325 to 350 degrees today. We'll be monitoring the temperature. The ambient temperature today outside is about 77 degrees, and we have light to moderate winds of four to five miles an hour. So it should be an interesting cook. See you back when we get the fire going. It's 11.55, friends, and our charcoal chimney is uh, fully fully ignited and burning. So we're gonna go ahead and release our, uh, our coals there, and our coal bed. And we're gonna be cooking today, since we're doing a Cajun style turkey, we're gonna be actually cooking with a Southern wood. We're gonna be cooking with some pecan wood. And, uh, and since we're gonna be cooking a little bit hotter, we're gonna build a little bit more of a chimney with our uh, with our coal. So we're gonna we're gonna build a little bit of a, of a TP chimney. So we'll be burning a little bit more wood today than we normally do. And for today's cook, we're using the Sugar Creek pecan competition logs. All right, we'll check back in about 10 minutes and see how our fire's doing. Folks, it is 12.15 p.m. Took just a little bit longer to get up to our higher temperature of 350 degrees. As you can see, our top thermometer is rating 350. Our bottom one is reading 250. However, when you look over at our display here on our thermal works, I don't know if I can get the light there on there and get the shadow of the camera out of the way, you can see it's 316 at pit level. So we're gonna go ahead and get that turkey put on there. Welcome back, friends. If you look at our clock, it is now 12.20 p.m. The temperature of the pit is at 325 degrees and steady. And just wanted to show we got a much larger fire running in order to uh, carry that 325 degree temperature. So uh, not time to put any wood on there yet, but uh, just wanted to give you a quick view of, of our, our charcoal or and our wood splits. Notice we have them set up in sort of a log cabin style. And uh, so we'll be watching this to keep our temperatures up so we get a nice crispy skin on our turkey as we cook it. Welcome back, friends. It is now 12.48 p.m. Got a little bit of a breeze blowing through here right now. Our uh, temperature of our fire has been dropping a little bit. Dropped out some coals there, so we're gonna refuel the fire. Got some uh, good coal bed going now. And this should help stabilize the fire quite a bit. Clean up these coals on the ground here a little bit. So let's go ahead and get some wood on here. That's a nice big chunk of pecan. Again, we're gonna start with our fire wood on either side, which uh, leaves us an air channel down the middle. And I'm going to put the third piece here on top. Remember, we're going to be we're running this fire a little hotter than normal. I'm going to put that up there. So uh, we'll check back in in another half hour, 45 minutes, and see how our temperature is doing. Welcome back, friends. It is now 1.20 p.m. So it's been uh, about 35 minutes since we've uh, added any wood or checked on the wood on the fire. So it's time for us to kind of check in and see how the fire is doing. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, we still got some good wood here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and break down these uh, logs a little bit so that uh, move this one towards the middle and uh, kind of 
break them down a little bit. Maybe rotate this one over here on this side a little bit so we can get it to and then work our coal bed just a little bit gently work our coal bed there. See how the fire picks up. And I'm going to go ahead and get a split started in the middle here. Put it up here, it's going to block a little bit of the airflow. Uh, but that'll get some wood warming up. Alright, that'll be enough. Just put one split on at this time. There's still plenty of wood, uh, but we want to keep feeding that wood to it so that it keeps generating that coal bed. So it's better to uh, feed about half the amount of wood, but twice the many trips, especially since we're trying to keep that temperature at about uh, 325 degrees today. So a little bit more wood, a little bit more fire today than, than we do on our other cooks, but uh, looking good in there. So check back in another half hour, 45 minutes. Welcome back, friends. As you can see from our clock, it's now 2 p.m. And so that's been about 45 minutes since we tended the fire. Well, let's open it up and take a look. Uh, fire is looking great. We're gonna go ahead and uh, rotate this top split around and uh, kind of move it over to the middle. I'm gonna break these coals down a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna move this split over to this side. Work on my little air chamber there. As you can see, we do quite a bit. We'll go ahead and put two splits. Ooh, got a little smoke inhalation there. We'll put two splits on it. Put this one uh, a little further forward. And uh, one out of the bag here. Nice piece of pecan wood here. Catch on fire. It catch pretty quickly. Usually doesn't take but about 30 seconds to a minute. But let's go ahead and close it up. Let the fire, <laughs> let the fire and the heat do its job there, folks. All righty, we'll check back on it another half hour and see how it's doing. I uh, just temped the turkey. Uh, it's averaging about 135 to 140. So uh, we've got about another 30 degrees. We want to get to 165 in the breast and uh, then we'll pull it off and start letting it rest. So all's good. Welcome frack friends. It is now uh, 2.40 p.m. It's been about 40 minutes since we touched the fire. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Splits are breaking down nicely there. Up, make sure I get good. So I'm gonna get in here and work these coals a little bit. Break these splits over a little bit. I'm missing that plate there. Plate out of my chimney. I got sidetracked there a little bit. We'll work the fire over a little bit. The bigger pieces of coal here. Coal scoured. Opened up there. Keep some air going. So you start taking off and igniting pretty quickly. All the same practice of putting some splits along the outer edges. In the, in the middle there. A little, <coughs> a little smoky there at first with the, when the fire starts off, but once the flames start going, uh, the smoke started dissipates pretty quickly. So, uh, let the fire fuel up. We'll come back in another 30 minutes or so. Our turkey breast uh, temperature is around 140 degrees, so it's moving on up. Uh, we want to get it up to about 165. When we get to 165, we'll be taking it off. So, uh,
Coop's going good so far. Welcome back, friends. It's 3.15 p.m. and the turkey has reached 165 degrees and the internal temperature on the breast, so we pulled it off and uh, placed it in an aluminum tray covered with aluminum foil, so we're gonna allow that to rest. So I just wanna check in here. We still have plenty of fire going here on the pit. We're just gonna just let it run and let it burn on out. So uh, we probably could have made it to about uh, 3.30 or 3.45 with that fire. But we don't need any more fire. We're done with our cook today. So I uh, want to thank you for watching and uh, hope this has been helpful to you.